What's up, everybody? Tyson Roush. Let's talk Jets. Hope everybody's having an excellent week. Just when you think you have it all figured out, you get a curveball. So today, veteran wide receiver Corey Davis has retired at the age of 28. So we want to wish him and his family nothing but the best as they move forward. Um, you know, it's, it's kind of shocking. But listen, health and good fortunes are always first and foremost for everybody. So nothing but the best to him. You look at the aftermath of that and First of all, Corey Davis was interesting because going into this offseason, a lot of people thought he was going to be cut. He's kind of been inconsistent with the Jets. He was a respected guy in the locker room, but he was injured a lot, a lot of drop passes. So you like, for $10.5 million, which the Jets get back now, people are like, maybe they use that, maybe they restructure him, kind of make it either, you know, add a year, or bring, bring his cap number down, or he gets released. Then the longer he was on the field with the team, you're like, you know what? He may be a big part of this. He's working out with Aaron Rodgers. He spoke glowingly about everybody. Like, all right, you know what? Not only is he not going to be cut, he may be the number two guy on, this, on the offense. So now you kind of say, how do you replace him? And the first thing you say is the Jets have a lot of depth at tight end, a lot of depth at running back. They have running backs and catch the ball at the backfield. You can go, you have three good tight ends. You can give maybe an advanced role for Ruckert. Maybe this buys some space for Yaboa. Or you look to the young wide receivers. You have Brownlee, you have Taylor, you have uh, Gibson. Now, I personally think the Jets will probably explore the options out there. Now, I don't think they're going to trade for Mike Evans, which I would love. To, that'd be great. I don't think they're going to trade for Devontae Adams as of yet. Somebody mentioned Julio Jones. I haven't looked at the free agents yet. I'm running late to the gym, so I'm just trying to do a video. But I definitely think the Jets try to look and add another veteran piece to the puzzle. Um, you got to love what you saw to Randall Cobb. First, just emerging in the offense and making big plays in practice. But also his leadership with the young guys where, you know, Garrett Wilson was talking like, you know what, Randall Cobb helps me translate. When Aaron Rodgers says something, he's like the translator to get everybody on the same page, help him out. Alan Lazard is the same thing. So in terms of leadership, while Corey Davis was a leader, I think Lazard and Cobb will help offset some of that. But I still think you need a veteran. So uh, this is going to be interesting. I, I think uh, I'm glad it happened now. I mean, you don't you don't want to see anybody retire, but you still have, what, two and a half weeks of the regular season. You have plenty of time to adjust. Plenty of time to make moves. The Jets have depth, you know, some depth at wide receiver, but I think the sum of their offense with all different playmakers like Dalvin Cook, it's it's not an enormous loss. It's just a little setback, right? So uh, let me know what you guys think. Like I said, I'm running late to the gym, so I wanted to get a video out. I'll talk to you later.